Yesterday, after conferring with my senior national security advisors, and following extensive consultations with our coalition partners, all reasonable efforts Saddam Hussein resolution was given one last no chance, chance but to drive Saddam set forth away in very force. explicit terms to do what he should have done more than six months ago, withdraw from Kuwait without condition or further delay, and comply fully with the resolutions passed by the United Nations Security Council. What we're protecting against is, is a massive public health threat anthrax in the hands of our enemies that would kill thousands and thousands of soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines. This vaccine protects against that possibility. We could do human research. It would be unethical to do so. We don't want to lose a single soldier, sailor, airman, or Marine just because they refuse to take a shot. We try to change their minds. And if they won't change their mind and won't take the shot, then it leads to some kind of disciplinary action. My name's um, Rhonda Lynn Wilson. And um, I'm 26 years old. Uh, I was um, a, a CW2 in the Army. I was the um, only female pilot in the cavalry where I was stationed. So I kind of um, stood out a bit. Um. People can get sick from it. Virtually none stay sick from it, and there are some exceptions to that. I took three. My first one was in December uh, of 98. I didn't question it. I was an officer. I just rolled up my sleeve and did my duty. It was worse than being raped, because I was betrayed by everything that I was proud of. My name is Scott Miller. Eleven years ago, I received a speech that a Marine had read to his commanders at 29 Palms, California. At the age of 19, he tried to slam the military for ordering him to receive a series of anthrax vaccines that he felt would compromise his stellar health. Corporal Schwartz reporting to the senior member of the board, sir. Corporal Schwartz, even though you've been found guilty of disobeying a lawful order, I have personally decided to allow you to speak to your superiors. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. He had wanted to be a Marine his whole life. He was given a bad conduct discharge, fined, and put in the brig for 60 days for his refusal to take the vaccine. Today, Lance Corporal Jared Schwartz is a convicted felon. Your Honor. My curiosity got the best of me, and I went around the country talking to military members. Their life stories were varied, but two things united them. One was their life desire to be in the military, to serve and protect our country. The other was that they were dying from the anthrax vaccine, or they had refused it and were court-martialed and thrown on the street, unable to be what they'd always wanted to be. They say that 30,000 military members are receiving the vaccine a month. They say that no one is ill from the vaccine. They say that the vaccine is safe, effective, and FDA approved. They say that all 2.5 million members are to receive this vaccine. I am proud to be an American. I believe this vaccine is unsafe. I believe that we should have the right to control our own body.